Corn rootworms have been a major issue in corn for years and years and years, but fortunately, we have new management techniques so we can stop these bugs before they destroy your corn. Well, it all starts right now, Brian. You look at what's happening out in cornfields. As soon as we see tassels coming and then silks, boy, the corn rootworm beetles are just right behind. They like feeding on those silks. That's about the timing where we start to see them. And if you have corn rootworm beetles in your field, that means you had corn rootworm larvae in your field yep. feeding on those roots. And right now, I've got a great opportunity to get out in those fields, spray for those adult corn rootworm beetles. But you have to spray early enough because if you're spraying late, they will have already reproduced, eggs are already laid, you're just too late. You're not going to help your situation out for next year. But if you are in a continuous corn situation, this is definitely something you want to look at. Well, if you do a little scouting before you get out for your fungicide application at about the same timing, it works good. You can save a trip by doing both at the same time. Now, let's say that you control those adult corn rootworm beetles, but you're going into picking seed for next year. Now, here's where we're already starting to get a lot of questions. There are companies coming out with refuge in the bag options. You know, is it a good idea to have 5% or maybe more of my seed unprotected from corn rootworms? Okay, I'm going to be right up front with you. I personally don't believe in the refuge acres. I know supposedly scientists say, oh, you got to have refuge out there. So some of these bugs can feed on the refuge corn and then they can breed with the other ones and all this stuff. I I just honestly think it's garbage. So I don't think it helps at all. I don't think we need refuge, but unfortunately, it's the law. So you've got to have 20% refuge in normal situations. With the refuge in the bag concept now that Dow and Monsanto have gone to, where they have smart stacks, they have two different rootworm traits together in the bag. Now, at least in some areas of the country, they're able to go down to only 5% refuge instead of the 20% refuge. So this is a big deal. And now they're also going to be allowed for 2012 to have those in the bag, that 5%. You know, I'm not a real big believer in it because if you had rootworm beetle, or if you had corn borers out there feeding and rootworm beetles out there feeding, uh, they're gonna feed pretty hard on that 5% that is uh, non-BT. So I'm concerned about it, because now we have no way to treat for it. In the past, we'd always put our refuge around the field and we could treat. I agree with you from that standpoint that I like having a separate area that I could treat and manage, but let's be honest, Brian, most guys were not treating that. They would put sure, the refuge sure. out there. They aren't coming back spraying timely for corn borers. And then corn rootworm beetles, you'd have to come back with a second application. Well, they didn't even make the first application, so yeah. a lot of guys aren't making that second application. So, you know, really it's going to be a net positive. We're now going to have 95% of the acres where corn rootworm and corn borers are managed and only 5% where they're not. The problem is those 5% are scattered throughout each field. So yeah. guys like us that were trying to spray and manage those different problems, you know, now we're going to have to spray 100% of our acres instead of just 20 if we want to if, do that. If we wanted to, but at this point, until we start getting serious resistance problems, it's probably not going to be worth it. Well, there are a lot of big things going on out in your fields. One of them is the spread of our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to get it under control coming up next.